Reducing fees on Coinbase is pretty easy for a lot of people that are new to crypto, new to using Coinbase in many cases, because you're probably not aware of what I'm about to show you. So here we see Coinbase, you know, I'm logged into my account. This is just the basic Coinbase there or the default Coinbase. You can toggle between Coinbase and Coinbase Advanced by clicking on your profile icon at the top right here. And I just took a snippet of most of the menu that opens the, the part that's cut off it shows my full email address and my name which is something that i wanted to just leave off but if you were to click on this profile button you would see you know you're like your email address and your name and then you would see the rest of this stuff so coinbase and coinbase advanced which is where you can toggle between coinbase which is what we're looking at now and coinbase advanced which we'll take a look at here momentarily and then you can see that i have it toggled to dark mode currently okay so if you're in coinbase whether you're at the home screen screen or my assets, either or if you click on trade, and if we're going to do a one time order, this is the same thing as a market order, essentially. But just for the purposes of example, if I say wanted to buy $25 worth of Bitcoin, and I preview the purchase, and this would be paying with my bank account, we preview the buy, and we see here that the Coinbase fee is $1.49. Now, even if we were to go back and choose a different payment method, and if this time we were going to use cash that it's already deposited in this in this account preview buy you'll see that the coinbase fee is a dollar 49 now if we change this number let's say we want to buy twenty five hundred dollars worth of bitcoin and i changed it back to bank preview buy and now the coinbase fee is thirty six dollars seventy cents okay so let's click on the profile button and jump over to coinbase advanced with the Coinbase Advanced tile. So this is Coinbase Advanced and Coinbase Advanced is a little different than just the regular Coinbase. So first and foremost, to buy a crypto, you have to be on that crypto chart. So right now we're on BTC USD, which is the Bitcoin US dollar pairing. If we were to click on that, we could choose another pairing in the list by scrolling through, or you can search for something else and go to a different crypto that is available on Coinbase. As far as the fees and Coinbase Advanced and also how to purchase. So because we're on BTC USD, we'd be purchasing Bitcoin USD pairing. And over on the right here, if we click on buy, that would put in the order. But since we haven't put any parameters, there wouldn't actually be a purchase taking place. So let's let's just take a look here at what we got. I'm just going to swap over to the market order just for example. Okay, so if I were to place a market order using Coinbase Advanced, the estimated fee is 14 cents. So already you can see that the fee is a lot less than just using Coinbase. Now, if we go ahead and choose limit order, we can set a price that we want to purchase at and no greater than. And then what we can do is we can either choose to spend in, we can either specify to just buy $25 worth of USD, or you can actually type in the amount of Satoshis you want to buy by toggling the USD over to BTC, and then just typing in the number of Satoshis that you want. You'll see see here, if we buy a small amount of Bitcoin, talking about ten and a half dollars worth of Bitcoin, the fee is six cents. Now, if we were to toggle this back to USD, just for simplicity's sake, and if we wanted to buy $2,500 worth of Bitcoin, it's red because I don't have $2,500 deposited in Coinbase to allow me to make this purchase. However, you can see the fee down here is $13.75. So there are still fees and there are still other methods of buying and selling, you know, like other centralized exchanges and other decentralized exchanges where you can pay lower fees than Coinbase. However, if you are going to use Coinbase, this is a simple way that you can reduce your fees and it does make a difference. So if we go back to coin, just the standard Coinbase for a moment, and if we were to make a purchase by clicking on trade, let's say we wanted $10 worth of Bitcoin. The fee is still 99 cents, which if you're buying $10 worth of Bitcoin, that 99 cent fee is effectively 9.9 percent .9 of your purchase which is quite significant so even though it may not seem like a big deal and i guess strictly speaking it's not that big of a deal if you only make like one or two purchases but the more you use coinbase the more the fees are going to add up and you should be using coinbase advanced because the fees are a lot less